still dying. And then I'm one really one. sorry, everyone, but <coughs> it's okay. Pepper, stop doing that. That's our weapon. Welcome back to another Breffington video. Before we get started, go ahead and click on that subscribe button, that red one that says subscribe. That'd be awesome so you guys can see more cool family fun videos and maybe even click that little bell so you get notified whenever we post. Today, we are doing a little devotional to teach these two and for me to learn a little bit more about forgiveness. Um, we are working with Mormon.org for during their Easter campaign, hashtag Prince of Peace. So make sure you share this video with a hashtag Prince of Peace and if you share anything good this Easter season, hashtag Prince of Peace. Got it? Okay, we're moving on. Porter, do you know what forgiveness is? I really know. <gasps> oh, can you tell me? Uh, forgiveness is forgiving Piper when she gets hurt and hitting people. And yes. That's pretty good. Piper, do you know what forgiveness is? Mm, yeah. What is it? Uh, what do I say? Forgiveness or no? That's pretty good. Okay, here's what forgiveness is, kind of. I don't know. I'm still learning what forgiveness is, too. But forgiveness is when, say you do something bad, maybe you hit Piper, right? So you say sorry and you repent to Piper. And Piper says, it's okay, I forgive you. That means she is saying, you know what? Let's forget all about it. I don't, I don't want to. I don't feel bad anymore. I don't want you to feel bad anymore. Let's just forget it ever happened, and I love you. Okay? Something like that, right? <laughs> In Colossians 3:13, it says, "Bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you." So, not only are we supposed to forgive everyone who has wronged us, which is really hard, right? Is it so hard to forgive Piper sometimes? Cause sometimes she does things that are kind of mean, huh? Like she'll hit you, or she'll take one of your favorite toys, right? Yeah. That's not very nice, but if she's sorry, then we have to forgive her. That's just how it works, right? Yeah. And you know who is the ultimate forgiver? Yeah. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, that's right. So here's how life works, you guys. Yeah, that's how you say you say you're sorry. <laughs> this is us, and this is when we're born. We're super duper clean, because we haven't done anything wrong. Right? But what happens when we make bad choices? You get. Can you pour some in there? Um, yeah. A little drop. This is sin. This is when we do something bad. <gasps> oh no, now we're not clean anymore. No. Darn it. Piper, what happens? What are, what are some bad choices we've made before, huh? Uh, that was What are some bad choices that you've made? One piece. <gasps> oh no, Piper. Hit Porter. That's a bad choice. So now we're not clean anymore. Porter, what's something, what are some sins that we've had before? What are some bad choices we've made? Uh, hitting. Hitting, what else? Uh, I don't know. What about lying? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> Do you know, have you lied before? Yes. Yeah, oh no, we lied. Piper, what are some, what are some things that maybe mom's done not very good? Uh, I didn't Maybe know. I accidentally yelled. Are you guys? Yeah, I want to do it. Oh, you want to do it? But one drop. Boop. Oh no, we started out so clean, but now we're all dirty. Look at that. Now we are all black inside. That is what sin and making bad choices does. Yikes. No but guess what? It. What's the matter? Guess what's the matter? To get back to Heavenly Father and Jesus, we have to be all clean, right? We have to be pure and clean. But how clean? But how do we get clean again if we are made so many bad decisions? How do we get clean in real life? Uh, you get washed. You get washed. That's a good idea. You get clean. How do you how do you get rid of your bad choices? Put in the water. You say sorry. Sorry. And you repent. Can you say repent? Repent. And who made it possible for us to get clean again? Do you know? Jesus did the atonement, and since he did the atonement, when we repent, he forgives us, and we can be all clean again. Should we try it? So we're all dirty now, and because of Jesus Christ, we can say, I'm sorry, can you please forgive me, Jesus? I won't do it again, I'll try harder, right? It does water. 
And because Jesus is so awesome, he's the best guy ever, we can do that. And we can say sorry. And what happens? I don't know. You get clean all over again. Okay, look at that. So clear. It got all clean again. You guys see that? All of the sins were washed away through forgiveness. Dun, 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 dun. I was a little worried that it wasn't going to work because it wasn't getting very clear, but I think it just takes a little bit of time, as does repentance and forgiveness. Hey, what are you doing with me? What do you guys think about that? Does that make you happy? Because mm -hmm. what would happen if we just had, we just did bad things and made bad choices, even if we, they're not that bad, but we still make mistakes sometimes. What would happen if we didn't have the atonement? We were dust. Just be all dirty. We'd be and, all dirty and sad. But it's through Jesus that we can be clean again, which is the good word, guys. This is awesome. Repent. We repent and we're forgiven. Yay! Thanks you guys so much for watching. We hope this made forgiveness and repentance a little bit clearer. <laughs> clearer, good. For you guys. And make sure, if you guys like this, to give us a thumbs up and to share and hashtag Prince of Peace and look up hashtag Prince of Peace. There are a lot of other vloggers and YouTubers doing videos this week for um, the Prince of Peace campaign, so I will link their names below. Check them all out, see what they have to offer, and subscribe to their channels. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.